what's up everyone and happy thursday i hope everyone is having a great day a beautiful day and a blessed day as always so i was sitting here thinking right and i was like you know i don't really get on here at the beginning of my videos right and really introduce myself because although my channel may have my name right some people may not really know what my name is and for those of you who may not know my name is keisha and i have been you know, called by God to inspire, encourage, motivate, uplift, this all of those things um, in that um, category, right? And I have been doing this for about a year now, and it just brings me joy, right? And, and, and just happiness to know that I can actually, you know, help people by just speaking, right? By using my voice and you know, doing that by spreading the word of God, teaching it, and just, again, helping people to be inspired or motivated, you know, through any type of, you know, way in their life, whatever, you know, the message be about, like, just trying to help people in any type of way that I can, right? That is just my aim. That is my goal. And I um, pray that, you know, people are really, which I know from some of the um, confirmations and the messages that I get from different platforms, like, so to know that I am helping people just brings me joy. So listen, yes, my name is Keisha, for those of you who don't know, and to all my new subscribers, um, hello, welcome to my channel, and for those of you who have been following me for a while, welcome back. So for today, listen, the title of this video is going to be there is nothing too hard for God. There is absolutely nothing on this earth, nothing in your life that is too hard for God. And the story that I want to um, refer to is the story of Sarah and Abraham, which is in Genesis 18. And God came to Abraham, right, to tell him that Sarah was going to bore a child. Now, mind you, Sarah was old, old, older than old, right? And she was unable to have kids all her life, although she wanted to, right? She just, excuse me, could never have kids. And so the Lord came to Abraham and told him, that she was going to bear a child. And Sarah overhearing, right, what, you know, God was telling Abraham, like, she laughed because she's like, you know, wait, God, I'm too old. Like, so you mean to tell me in my old age now that I'm about to have a child? And God, like, did she just laugh? <laughs> like, is she questioning me? Do she not know that there's nothing too hard? For me, and he said, oh, but I will be back. And at the time, my time, at the appointed time, she will have a son. And so that's what, no, that's, that's the reminder, right, that all of us need, right, is that no matter what you have been praying for, no matter how long you have been waiting, you know, maybe for some of you it is to have kids, right, because you've been trying to have kids for so long, and it just seems like, you know, maybe the doctors have even told you that you are unable to have kids, you know, maybe it's some type of healing or some type of miracle or just some type of, you know, material blessing that you have been waiting for for so long. I'm here to remind you, that there is nothing too hard for God. And it does not matter how long that you've been waiting. Listen, just because it has not happened yet does not mean it's not going to happen. Because it is in God's appointed time that it will happen. So that's what he had to tell Sarah and remind Sarah, like, there's nothing too hard for me. And in my time, you know, you will have the son that I said that you're going to have. And Sarah was 90 years old okay even though back in the day you know in the bible they lived way longer than what people do now but 90 was still old right and so it was like almost like impossible so like what do you mean that i'm and that's what she didn't like she didn't laugh out of like you know doubting she laughed because she's like i'm old like this doesn't even seem like it's possible right for me to even have a child 
at this age. And that's the thing about God, again, because there's nothing too hard and nothing impossible for God. So keep believing God for the impossible. I don't care how crazy it might seem or sound to other people. Because if you know within your heart and your spirit that God is going to do this thing for you, if God has said it to you that he's going to do this thing for you, then all we have to do is just wait for his appointed time, you know, and he's going to show you. So understand that in life, the things that are so difficult for us and just seem so hard to get through and just seem like, you know, they are really overwhelming us and stressing us out. Those are the things, first and foremost, that you need to give to God because you are not meant to carry anything that is too heavy for you because when you carry it by yourself, then you will become overwhelmed and stressed out. So to prevent you from, you know, going through unnecessary, you know, emotions, you need to give whatever that thing that seems impossible or too hard for you, you first and foremost just need to go ahead and give it to God. And once you give it to God, you need to lay and put your trust in him, put your trust in him so that you can have the patience that you need while you wait. So that you don't become weary or even doubtful because understanding that because there is nothing too hard for God, that God will get the job done. He will bring you whatever that thing is, no matter how long it takes. Wait on it because it will come to pass. So I hope that this message has helped inspire, touch, bless anyone who it has reached. And as always, let's be motivated, but most importantly, let's stay inspired.